The JLTV or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle was a new U.S. military program, initiated to partially replace the fleet of aging HMMWV utility vehicles. At the time the HMMWV design was around 25 years old. Also recent military conflicts revealed the lack of protection of the HMMWV. The HMMWV was never designed to be an armored combat and patrol vehicle, however for a number of years it has been employed as one. Also it is not well suited for counterinsurgency warfare. Even its up-armored versions, such as M1114 and M1151 are very vulnerable to landmines and RPG-style anti-tank rockets. The new lightly armored vehicle was required for the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, and Special Forces. The JLTV was specifically designed with patrol and combat missions in mind. It is better protected and more survivable than a HMMWV. Yet it is still as mobile. A number of companies were competing to meet requirements of the JLTV program. In 2015 a modified version of Oshkosh LATV was selected as a winner. Low-rate initial production began in 2016. It was planned that full-rate production will begin in 2018 to 2019. First operational vehicles were planned to be delivered in 2019. By the end of 2022 the U.S. Army and Marine Corps ordered around 19,150 of these military vehicles. The U.S. Army has a requirement for 49,100 vehicles. The U.S. Marine Corps plans to obtain approximately 12,500 vehicles. U.S. Air Force around 2,000 vehicles. The U.S. Navy 400 vehicles. So if funding will be available combined U.S. military requirement could be for around 64,000 of these lightly armored vehicles. Slovenia was first export customer of the JLTV. In 2018 a batch of 38 vehicles were ordered for Slovenian military. In 2019 Montenegro ordered 67 of these protected vehicles. During the same year Lithuania ordered 200 of these vehicles and another 300 vehicles in 2022. In 2020 Brazil signed a contract for 12 JLTVs. In 2020 Belgium approved purchase of 322 JLTVs. In 2021 Romania approved purchase of over 100 units. Some other countries expressed interest in obtaining these lightly armored vehicles. The Oshkosh LATV is a lighter, smaller and nimbler version of the Oshkosh MATV mine resistant ambush protected vehicle. Worth noting that the MATV is currently used by the US troops. This vehicle can accept multiple armor configurations. It can be easily adapted to changing operational requirements. It has a high level of protection against landmines that is comparable to that of the MRAP vehicles. It withstands underbelly blasts. Also it provides protection against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters and RPG-style anti-tank rockets. The JLTV has a greater payload capacity than the HMMWV. There are three main versions, with a maximum payload of 1.6T, 1.8-2T, and 2.3T. Vehicle with the smallest payload capacity provides seating for four passengers, including the driver, middle, four six men, and the highest payload variant is used as a shelter carrier. This vehicle is also capable of towing an associated trailer with the same payload. The companion trailer is designated as the JLTVT. A baseline JLTV carries no weapons. However, it can be armed with a roof mounted 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Alternatively, it can be fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station. In this case, weapons are operated remotely under armor protection. The JLTV can be also used as a platform to carry anti tank or anti aircraft weapons. The JLTV is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine. There is also an option for a hybrid diesel electric engine that is more fuel efficient. Also, the engine has a capability to export electricity, however, this feature is also optional. Vehicle uses Oshkosh Intelligent Independent Suspension System for faster off road speeds. This tactical vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can travel over difficult terrain. The JLTV is fitted with two run-flat tires and will keep going with damaged fuel tank or engine oil reservoir. 
Vehicle can be airlifted by the CH-47 Chinook or larger helicopters and C-130 Hercules transport aircraft. It is planned that the JLTV will be available in five armored versions and a number of non-armored versions. Versions will include reconnaissance vehicles, command vehicles, troop carriers, ambulances, and general-purpose utility vehicles. Price from the Montenegro contract is around $540,000. In Lithuanian contract vehicle price was around $700,000. So unit price depends on configuration and other factors. It seems that unit price might eventually reduce over time as these vehicles are being produced in large numbers.